Hello, it's Mrs. Glasson, and welcome to Wonderful Words, beginning with W. Now, before we start the tutorial, I'd like to ask you a favour. Students, there's a word that I tend to overuse. Can you guess what it is? Well, I'd like you to advise me. I'd like you to help me to find some synonyms for it. See if you can guess what it is. I'm going to ask you about it during the course of the tutorial, so pay attention. Okay, students, so have I whetted your appetite for English study? Have I inspired you to learn more wonderful words? I can't possibly teach you all the words in the world, nobody can, but hopefully I have whetted your appetite and motivated you to seek out words and to research them. For it really is true, students, my enthusiasm for English will never wane. So as we wander towards the start of another tutorial, I bet you are wondering about the words I'm going to teach you. OK, so without further ado, without waiting any longer, let's get going. Wonderful words beginning with W. Let's go. Wet is part of this idiomatic expression that I've used already. I hope to whet your appetite. Have I whetted your appetite for more English study? I hope so. So that word wet, what does it mean? It means to sharpen. So to sharpen the blade of a tool or weapon. He wetted his knife. Or it can also be used in this context. The blurb on the book whetted my curiosity. I had to read it. And being the proactive, curious learner that I am, this is an explanation that I found on the internet. If someone or something whets your appetite for a particular thing, they increase your desire to have it or know about it by giving you an idea of what it is like. So therefore, students, I hope that I have whetted your appetite for more English study. And on that subject, words like wet and wet, tricky words or easily confused words, they are the types of words that I'm going to cover in my new upcoming series, Tricky Words. So make sure you press the pink subscribe button so that you don't miss out. And make sure you watch those videos entitled Tricky Words words. That way I'm sure that your enthusiasm for English will not wane. Wane meaning decrease or diminish or dwindle or abate. I certainly hope that your enthusiasm for English will not diminish or dwindle or abate or wane. And some example sentences. My enthusiasm for maths waned when I was at school. That is certainly true, as you know. After running three miles, her energy waned. Interesting, because that word wane actually reminds me of another word beginning with W. An adjective meaning pale. Do you know what it is? One. So you can see why it reminds me of Wayne. And here, by way of exemplification, is an excellent synonym for one, meaning pale. Pallid. Both of those words, actually all three of those words, one, pale and pallid, are adjectives. Pala, on the other hand, as is shown to you in these two sentences here, is a noun. He hadn't been well and now his skin had a deathly pallor to it. Nigel was anxious to take a cruise in the sun and work on getting rid of his winter pallor. And pallor reminds me of this line 
from the start of this classic novel by Daphne du Maurier. Daphne du Maurier being one of my mother's favourite writers. It's a brilliant, brilliant piece of writing. And I used to use the opening of it to teach years 10 and 11 creative writing. And of course, it is an extract that I use as part of my 11 plus teaching as well. Um, as I've said to you before, we read the works of great writers like this and we deconstruct their works so that we can construct brilliant writing ourselves or we can at least aspire to constructing brilliant writing like this. So let's put that to the test, shall we? So Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier, an absolutely magical work of literature. Just in this opening paragraph, we have personification and pathetic fallacy. We have onomatopoeia, sibilance and alliteration. Gosh, I can actually feel the clammy cold. So we have brilliant examples of the use of sensuous imagery. Tactile, visual, auditory, olfactory, they are all here and all used effectively. And students, in addition to the linguistic techniques, what about the structural techniques? Look at these structural devices, the way that the sentence structure is used to tell the story, the amazing use of syntax, the skillful crafting of tone, and the paragraphing also. And 11 plus GCSE and A-level students, in fact, all English students. How many of those literary techniques and devices do you know? How many of them could you spot? Don't forget, literary terms and techniques are taught and revised in Lesson 5 of the 11 Plus Foundation course and the 11 Plus Revision course. And they really are essential for comprehension and creative writing. They're essential for 11 Plus success. Enroll now. If you go to www.mrsglasson.com you will easily find the revision and the foundation courses there. And 11 plus parents, even though your children may never be taught by a qualified grammar school English teacher during the course of the 11 plus journey, and you know that they're never going to be taught by a former 11 plus examiner, at least with my courses, you know that they will. They will be taught by a qualified grammar school English teacher who is passionate about her subject. So give your children the best chance at 11 plus success. And don't forget students, I'm going to be asking you to help me out with that special favor soon. The Wonderful Words Workbook, I hope that you are keeping up. And as you can see students who don't have it, it's not just about the 400 ambitious words, it's about all sorts of different things, all sorts of different components that make up this fantastic subject of ours. English. Gosh, talking about my enthusiasm for English waning and being wan and pallid and pallor, it's really getting quite depressing. Let's think of a much more positive word beginning with W. Winsome, meaning pleasing, attractive or charming. Gosh, talking about enthusiasm for English waning, that really is rather depressing. Let's think of a more positive word. Winsome, meaning pleasing or attractive or charming. And here are some wonderful synonyms for winsome. Engaging, charming, adorable and attractive. And as my proactive research shows, if you describe a person or their actions or behaviour as winsome, you mean that they are attractive and charming. He introduced his eldest son, a winsome lad with a pleasing manner and an affable smile. The porter gave us a winsome smile as he helped us with our suitcases. Affable, meaning friendly. Friendly is quite a low level way of saying affable or amiable or amicable and be careful of the spelling of amiable. 
And on the subject of tricky spellings and tricky words, I'm going to be making a whole new series of videos entitled Tricky Words or Commonly Confused Words as they are. So make sure you look out for them. In fact, if you haven't done so already, press the pink subscribe button so that you don't miss out. So I'm going to be making videos on homonyms, homophones, heteronyms and homographs. Do you know the difference? What do you mean you don't know the difference? Well, look out for my videos then because I'm going to be explaining them to you. And I'm going to be looking at tricky words like lose and loose, whining and winning, weary and weary. And on the subject of tricky words, look at the back students of your wonderful words workbook. What can you see? Over 200 commonly misspelt words. Do look at those closely. Proofread your writing closely because don't forget, be meticulous about your spag because spag matters. And what do you mean you don't have a copy of the Wonderful Words Workbook? Click on the link below to get it or go to www.mrsglasson.com. Students, before we end this tutorial, I want to ask you for some help. There's a word beginning with W that I tend to overuse. I'd like you to give me some synonyms so that I can use those instead to vary my vocabulary. I'm sure you can guess the word. It is wonderful. So I'm asking for your help. Can you think of some synonyms for wonderful that I can use instead? But I'm not going to make it that easy for you. I want you to try to guess these words, these fantastic synonyms for wonderful. Students with the Wonderful Words workbook, you can see them at the end of Wonderful Words beginning with Z. Please can you complete these words? And I'm not going to give you the answers yet. Oh no, I'm going to give you the answers at the end of Wonderful Words beginning with Z. I hope that you're enjoying your Wonderful Words workbook and that you very much enjoyed that tutorial on those wonderful words beginning with W, enabling you to elevate your Lexis, to make your diction more dexterous and to make your English exemplary. I will see you next time with wonderful words beginning with X, Y and Z. Mm -hmm.